What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Sohan and you can see from the you know background that it's uh, different sceneries because I'm actually in a hotel. Um, I travel quite a bit for work and so with that comes a little bit of challenges because I can't really bring that many products with me on the road and that's kind of why I have sporadic posting times where sometimes I post you know three times four times a week and then there's a week where I maybe post once or maybe not even uh, not even post um, so if you ever have any questions or concerns or like just want to say what's up um, I have an Instagram and I do post on there when I'm on the road and stuff so you can always like uh, follow me there and then DM me and I you know we can just chat or something on there but anyways I do have a product today um, it is the Ridge wallet it's like a minimalist uh, EDC kind of wallet uh, I actually been using this for a little bit now um, I just put it back in the box to just kind of give you the unboxing experience kind of show you what it looks like so this is kind of what the box looks like um, I did get the carbon fiber edition they come in a bunch of different tiers so there's a polycarbonate which starts at 45 ranging all the way up to 115 which is the carbon fiber version and it kind of looks like this when you open the box um, this is kind of the presentation you got you have the wallet in here and then just this tool uh, I'll kind of go into a little bit more detail. It's super thin profile. Like look at this. It's just basically two carbon fibers slabs um, And then you have the option to choose a money clip or a money strap. And I'll go into a little bit more detail But uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna be reviewing if this is something that you're interested in or just want to learn a little bit more about this wallet um, how it works um, What my experience with it is then you're gonna want to stick around, but we're gonna get started in three two one All right, y'all, so we're gonna start right away. So first things first, I wanted to explain the tool that it comes with. This is the Torx screwdriver, and essentially what it's used for is there are these Torx screws that kind of hold the plates in place, and there's about 14 of them, and essentially they give you the toolkit to essentially basically take this apart and put it back together. The only reasons why you would do that is um, either you lost a screw, you need to put one in, or this elastic that kind of holds it all together. Um, it's a really durable elastic, but if you need to like replace it, they have replacement parts on their website. You can just order a new elastic, take the screws out, pull it apart, put the new elastic in, and then put it back together. And then the other reason why you would use the torque screws or uh, take them out and uh, disassemble it is to ch exchange the money clip for the money strap, or just you can put them, you can put the money strap on this side and have the money clip on this side. You can use both sides; it doesn't matter. But you would need that tool to take it apart to essentially put them, put it, put it on the on the wallet so um, I went with the money clip and the reason why is because I don't ever carry cash I hardly do if I do then it's useful but for the most part I literally just if you can see on my on my pocket front pocket I just kind of use it as a clip and just slide it in like that and it's it just sits deep on my pocket and it doesn't interfere with my quad at all so when I sit down or anything or I do any movement it, it just sits here and it, it's so small that you can't even feel it in your pocket and it's amazing and then I whenever I need it I just pull it off and it bam it's so simple so easy and honestly the construction of this wallet is it's just beautiful especially the carbon fiber I mean this outer plating is 3K carbon fiber. It's just, the whole plate is not actually carbon fiber. Um, it's just the top layer. I don't know if you can see it, but let me see if I can focus. I don't know if you can see it, but it's two different layers. It's like aluminum, like a metal on the bottom, and then the top part is carbon fiber. So the actual outside that you see is two slabs of real carbon fiber, and it feels so nice. It's matte finish. And it just looks amazing, honestly. It looks so beautiful. It's a, such a beautiful, like, uh, everyday carry wallet. Um, and it's and it's so thin because like it the, the only thickness comes from the plates, the two little plates, and then whatever how many cards you put in there. It's recommended between one and twelve cards. Um, twelve, I would say, is still kind of pushing it, even for a guy. Like, I don't know why you would be carrying twelve cards. Um, I think I found the sweet spot about seven cards is perfect for me. I actually put eight in here just to kind of show you um, kind of how it looks. Um, there's something that I really want to touch on that's really important as well. There's two different types of cards still that exist. There is, this is my uh, room key actually for the hotel. Um, it's, it's all flat, right? So it's going to be so much easier 
to put all flat cards in there because they, they won't kind of stick together and it doesn't have that extra, you know, like this. I don't want to show you my number, but you can hear it. This has like the uh, exposed numbers on the card and it kind of makes it more difficult in this wallet, but it's not something that, it just makes it a little bit difficult, but I mean, you can still put them in here, but all the flat cards that you use, it's, it's gonna be much easier to like take in and out of there because it's flat and it's simple and it, it, there's less friction when you're pulling it out. But I wanna show you my technique of how, I've been like playing around with this. I've been trying to find the best technique and this is what I came up with. So essentially there's a little groove out here for your thumb or your finger. You wanna basically, what you wanna do is, uh, how's the best way to do it? So you wanna push it up with your, you wanna hold it with your thumb, thing, thumb and then your pointer finger on the outside or middle finger. And then you wanna basically keep the three fingers on top we're holding the card and then your thumb on the bottom. So I don't know if you can see that, but middle finger, thumb, the other thumb here, and then three fingers on top. And you kind of just want to move the cards up together like that. So essentially now you have the cards that are essentially pa uh, parallel to the actual wallet itself. And this is, makes it easier because this is the highest height it can go uh, without um, you taking out the cards. And then down here where the ridge is for your finger, there's like a little point right here. This is where you want to kind of pinch. And when you pinch, you can see that the cards fan out really nicely. And then you can kind of just, you know, just go through it. Uh, you pinch it, you kind of go through, and then you pick your card, and bam. This is my packs on little gift card. I have so many packs on gift cards, it's wild. That's where I get my jeans from, by the way. <laughs> they just have good denim, I don't know, I love it. But it's super simple to take out. You just gotta go, this is like the best technique I came out with, because a lot of people say just push with one finger, but then, it's, then you see then it's on an angle, it, it makes it more difficult. Then you have, to, you have to worry about pulling it out and even it out. But instead of you just take your thumb, your middle finger, your other hand, your thumb, and then three fingers, and you just move the cards up together like that. And then you pinch right here, not this side, this side. It just fans out really nicely, super nicely. And I always put my, uh, so if this is the front of the wallet, I always put my most important card in the front, my most used card, and then I turn it around and I put my second most used card on here. Obviously this is my most used card, I put it on the other side, but I'm just showing you from a standpoint because the, all the other cards that I have on the table all have my like credit card numbers and really important numbers. So I don't really wanna show that, but I'm just showing you from like a, a, like a realistic point of view of how you would use it. This would be the front side and you would want your most important card in the front and then you would want your second most important card in the back. So technically, for, for me, what it is, is my credit card is in the front, and then I put my driver's license on the other side. Those are the two most important cards that I use on a daily basis. Um, I Right now, my everyday carry is seven cards. What I use is my global entry card. I have my priority pass, my license, my debit card, my credit card, my, uh, oh shoot, did I, did I? not do that right oh yeah no that's right it's good that's right it's good it's good i have my debit card my priority pass sorry i'm trying to count this as we go uh my debit card my priority pass my corporate card my global entry my driver's license my credit card and then my health insurance card those are my seven cards and if you're wondering what about gift cards what about those things just take a picture of the code like it's so easy like let me see if i have one go like this pull the card out Wow, I'm really butchering this, huh? Yeah, so on the card, I don't want to show you my uh, gift card, but this is a Paxson gift card. They they always has the uh, the code on the back and then the PIN number. Just take a picture of it and keep them in like a file on your phone. Then you don't have to carry gift cards. I don't know why people would ever carry gift cards. It's just like so pointless. Um, but yeah, I mean, seriously, like, I have some cards in here. It's super easy just to slide in here like this. And then bam, it's done. It's so simple, so modern, so clean. Honestly, my first opinion when I had this, I was like, I was a little frustrated because I'm like, why would anyone buy this? Like, it's it's so annoying. It's so hard to get out. But then I, I like developed a technique and I kind of like figured out how to fan it properly, how to get to all your cards equally and, and, and pretty fast. I mean, it won't be as fast as like probably um, using like a normal like bifold and pulling it out like that. Um, but if you get the technique down and you just work on it and it'll become, uh, you know, as you use it more and more, it'll be 
pretty easy to like just take out your card, find the card you need. But most of the time for guys at least, I mean, we only use a few cards at, at most. We use a credit card, we have a debit card in there, but most of the time we use credit card because why wouldn't you use a credit card if you can because you're supposed to be racking up points and debit cards don't rack up any points. So if you're not using a credit card over a debit card, I don't know why, why you aren't. I have a global entry card because I travel a ton and then I have a priority pass into the lounges because I travel a lot. But even then, if I didn't travel, like taking those two cards out um, and even my corporate card for travel and stuff, though taking those three cards out, I'm already down to four cards and that's literally my essentials. Like you don't need any more than that, I honestly think. And uh, this, this wallet really forces you to go more minimalistic. And I really like it. It's beautiful. I think the carbon looks beautiful. I think the polycarbonate looks beautiful. Like there's different uh, ranges of uh, constructions that you can get. I mean, you don't have to get the carbon fiber. It's the most expensive one, but there's other ones and it's really, really functional, really simple, really modern. And it's probably one of my favorite EDCs um, ever. It's probably, I think it's the best EDC currently that you can get, the best construction. Um, in material, just overall, just like craftsmanship. There's a, it's backed by a lifetime warranty. Like it's a great, great product, honestly. And I, I, I just like the way it sits in my product, my pocket right here. It doesn't have to go deep. It just sits right here, like here, like almost like a, if you were wearing like an everyday carry like knife or something, it just sits right there. And it's, I don't even worry about it. I can, I can still like lift my legs up. I know it's, I'm doing like weird things, but like it's, these are real functional things. Like sometimes when you wear a bulky, uh, credit card. I think by now we all know that you shouldn't be putting it in your back pocket because it, it can cause back issues and it's not very good for your posture and everything. So if you even put a bulky one in your front pocket and you sit down, you can you can kind of feel it like sitting there. So this one you don't you you you, you still have your range of motion, your flexibility, and it and it's great honestly. So um, if you're interested at all in this product, I'm gonna leave a 15% discount code below. If you wanna buy the, you know, I mean the cheapest one you can get is a polycarbonate, 45 bucks with 15% off. I think it's a steal. But there's aluminum, titanium, carbon fiber. So um, yeah, I'll leave the discount code below for you guys to check out. And then um, if you have any questions or concerns, you know, feel free to leave it below. I'll kind of give you um, anything I might have left out of the video, but I just want to give you the essentials. I really do. This is my new uh, wall that I use all the time. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Um, and I did get a little frustrated at first because it was a little tough to learn um, the learning curve because uh, it's kind of all the cards in one. You, you, have to, you really have to learn the fanning technique for it to be really like optimal for using this wallet, but I think if you just follow the technique I showed you guys in the video, I think you should be pretty good. There are other techniques that work too. Um, this is just the best one that works for me to be most consistent and easier to fan out. But like I said, the optimum number of cards, I would try to stay between five and seven. I think that's the most optimum. I mean, getting upwards to 10 to 12, it, it'll still fit. It, I mean, it still fits. And like, if I take all these cards out, I can I can jam pack it in here. It it'll still stay tight with one and I just put one card in here. This is holding one card and you can see whether it's one card or 12 cards, it's going to hold it nicely and snug and you're not losing any cards. Like nothing's coming out of here. The elastic is really nice and really tight. And yeah, there is a money clip if you want or I mean a money strap if you want. I just don't prefer it that much. I think you this is way better. It's like way more durable like it's, it's well made and everything. And uh, I just use it, I don't, I don't really carry cash. I just use it as a deep, uh, I just use it to clip onto my pocket and it's just easier. But if I do carry cash, I have it there and I can just put it in my pocket and not worry about it. But I think I covered everything with this review. I hope it helped a lot. Just like to inform you guys about this EDC minimalistic wallet. Like I said, I'm going more minimalistic and I like these minimalistic products. If you guys like these minimalistic products and EDC products, Give this video a thumbs up. If you're brand new to the channel and you're just here, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you just, you know, like I said, I, for this is a community that I'm trying to build. So always leave a comment. Like other people, if I don't even get to the comment or if I, even if I do comment, I know someone else will comment. And I'm just kind of, kind of creating that kind of community where everyone can comment and, you know, discuss different things. So thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Uh, there's gonna be more videos coming. I have a bunch of different products that I have that I still wanna review. So uh, definitely stick around if you're brand new and if you're you know, a returning subscriber, mad love to you guys. This is mad crazy, I love you guys so much. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.